day everyone you are welcome to prospect channel tv here we give you the latest update of nigerian news thank you very much for subscribing to this channel if you have not please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button also press the bell icon this is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel thank you very much for always stopping by god bless you the EFCC has responded to the release of Senator O.J. Kahlo from prison. On Friday, May 8, 2020, the Supreme Court overturned a 12-year sentence in jail ruled by court in Abuja for Senator O.J. Kahlo. Although the Supreme Court has not cleared him of the charges against him, the court dismissed the case and demanded that the case be changed. The court relied on Justice Mohammed Lehman, who wrote that he had left the Federal High Court at the time of the verdict. The EFCC posted on his Twitter account. In a letter from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, it said it would soon re-prosecute Kahlo. The EFCC described the new ruling as an attempt to punish the former governor. The EFCC has found that the Supreme Court has overturned the verdict of former Abia State Governor Oji Kalu, Silok Nigeria Limited, and James Udegu, former Abia State finance director with a new injection, the affidavit said. According to a letter from the EFCC, spokesman Dele Oyewele stated the High Court relied on Justice Mohammed Idris who reminded to the court of the appeal but returned to the High Court for sentencing. The EFCC was this satisfied with the decision of the Supreme Court and took it in a, as an attempt to downplay the sentencing of the former governor. The, commissioner is pre, the commission is prepared to prosecute the former governor because his testimony is clear. It is the evidence of money laundry that the Supreme Court has failed to clear the EFCC will adjoin it until justice is served. Kahlo has been charged with 36 counts of money laundering, including $7.1 billion. Wow. So, hello viewers, what's your take on this? <clears throat> this is not surprising to me anyway. This is what we have been expecting. Of course, yes, from this government, all this why. They know how to play the game. <laughs> Not today. They were just trying to deceive Nigerians by huddle, sentencing, and all that in the first place. Because they know how they turn things around. This government. Now, wow. Waiting with that. Hey. What a country. What a country. This is just a uh, automatic ticket to steal money of public fund. That is it. Nigeria, what a shame. Nigerian government is fighting corruption. This is why our leaders will never stop looting from our money in this country. You see the government that is saying they are fighting corruption. Who among them is not corrupt? Every one of them is corrupt. Who are you going to vouch for? Nobody. No one. From the head to the tail. Everybody is corrupt in this country. All these politicians, all, all these our Nigerian leaders, they are all corrupt. They are just good in looting our money. They know how to do it. They know how to play the game. And this is what is just playing out right now. 
One big or girl will be there calling people to enter their party so that their sins will be forgiven. After you might have looted all the money and you are, for example, the person is in the other opposition party, they know how to do it. The next thing you will run to the ruling party so that your sins will be forgiven. It's a shame. It's a shame. What else is remaining for our next generation? These people, they've sucked this country that dry. It's a shame. As you can see, all cases of convicts of corruption have been unturned by the happy Scots under a government that prides itself as corruption fighters. All that is needed here is for a corrupt official to be a member or still join the party. That is the reason why I always say this, that Nigeria can only be free, only be free when these two parties leave this country. I know, I'm not saying they should. What I mean by they should just give away, just give way from this leadership or whatever, so that another set of people will, will take over. If not, Nigeria is really in trouble. Where are we going to start from? Is it PDP that is not corrupt? Is it the so-called APC that has said they are fighting corruption that is not corrupt? This government that said that said they are fighting corruption, their corruption is the worst so far on earth. What a shame. Rotting country. Everybody needs to be a criminal in Nigeria because they see nothing wrong with criminality and corruption. What a useless country. Sorry I'm using all these languages because it's the way I feel. I am just angry with what is happening here. The law in, the, in this country is not for these people. It's only made for the poor man there. One person go come say, Yahoo boy, go, go uh, uh, dupe someone, go dupe one uh, white person, Two point something million. The next thing you see all this EFCC, they go carry their neck long. Can they sentence the person? 40 years imprisonment. Two point something million. Four point something million. Then they sentence them. What is the difference between the Yahoo people and these people? What is the difference between them? It's only God that we judge this country. We judge all the bad leaders. And God have a place for them. They should be doing whatever thing they like they are doing. But they should not forget that the Most High is watching. I beg, let's hear from what Nigerians are saying here so that you don't look I'm the only one talking. Somebody is saying here, the question is, did he or did he, did he not steal from his people? The way we glorify thieves in this country based on ethnic uh, sentiment is quite uh, uh, appealing. This same man and his uh, water car principal ruled Abbey at state down. Now, wow. So they've actually granted him bail, Nigerian government. Okay, someone is saying here, so our money, Uzo Kalusto, has gone like that. The same force is that uh, for states, this criminal. What is his name? Uh, Uzodima on uh, Imo State set free another criminal that destroyed Abia State. We can see now why Fulani is everywhere. They do what they like and we have no one to run to except God. The wicked shall never be unpunished. Oji Kalo and the T. A Oji may I don't understand what he's saying there. But let me stop there. All right, somebody is saying here, who's Okalo is just unfortunate. A uh, one here. Can he say uh, all the other uh, countries are not all the other leaders are not looters? All of them are thieves. Okay, say that. All right. Okay, someone is saying here. I'm not in support that they stolen money from state treasure, okay? The problem I have with this government is where 
the same standard is measured on others, especially the same standard is not measured on others, especially the northerners. If Abacha was not a northerner, the kind of insult and causes northerners will be reigning today for looting such a man, Chai. In fact, all his assets and all of his siblings must be all seized by the federal government. So, hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your take on this? Don't forget to